It's from JPL, and they want to know how your position on climate change and climate monitoring has uh, changed, where, what your position is specifically, and they add to it your thoughts about uh, the CMS, the Carbon Monitoring System that has just been recently uh, mentioned there, and things like canceling uh, the proposal to cancel uh, the latest OCO mission. Sure. Uh, so the latest OCO mission, OCO 3, um, I'll, I'll hit that one quick and then uh, revisit some of the others. So oh, uh, the, uh, the you know, Orbital Carbon Observatory Mission 3, uh, number one, uh, OCO 2 uh, has, is, is on orbit and doing well. OCO 3 is still being developed by NASA, and my understanding is in January uh, we're going to launch it. Now, uh, it was not in the President's budget request, but it was funded by Congress. The President signed the bill into law. And we're following the law, and we're going to launch it in January of 2019. So it's not been cut. In fact, it's going to be on orbit uh, very, very soon. Um, so I think that's, that's an important point. As far as um, my position on climate and, and how it's evolved, uh, I'll, I'll be very open, and I'll share kind of the story here. Um, in, I guess it was 2013. Um, there were 24 Oklahomans that got killed in a massive tornado. Uh, and and um, me being a member of Congress and wanting to do something to help uh, my fellow you know, citizens in the state of Oklahoma, and I want to be clear, that was a big event. But every year I've been in Congress, I've had constituents get killed in tornadoes. And every year in Congress, I've made a commitment to my constituents that we're going to do everything we can to prevent deaths from tornadoes. And in fact, my objective is to move us to a day where we have zero deaths from tornadoes in the United States of America. So I started promoting a bill, uh, the, the Weather Research and Forecasting Innovation Act, which actually started in 2013, passed in 2017, if you can imagine. That's how hard it is to pass bills in, in the House and the Senate and get them signed by the President. So I started working on that bill. Now, in the debate, uh, there was a moment uh, where um, I, I said these words. I said, um, I said, temperatures quit rising 10 years ago, but here's what I know. My constituents this year will die in a tornado. Let's allocate resources where we can save lives and property today. Now, of course, after that, and, and by the way, that 10-year you know, timeline there, I, I pulled that from the NASA website. <laughs> Uh, but, but after that pause, it started going up immediately like the next year, right? And now there's this spike. Uh, and then it, 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 for you know, the last two years, it's gone down a little bit. But, he, but here's the point. I don't deny the consensus that the climate is changing. In fact, I fully believe and know that the climate is changing. I also know that we human beings are contributing to it in a major way. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Um, we're, 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 we're putting it to the atmosphere in volumes that, that you know, we haven't seen. Uh, and that greenhouse gas is, is, a, is warming the planet. That is absolutely happening, and we are responsible for it. Um, NASA is the one agency on the face of the planet that has the most credibility to do the science necessary so that we can understand it better than ever before. Um, and maybe to allay the concerns of the person who asked the question, uh, I, I would like to share this. If you look at the President's budget request for 2019, his budget line for earth science is higher than three of the uh, budgets that were passed by President Obama. And if you look what was passed into law and signed just a couple of months ago in the omnibus bill for earth science, it's the second highest earth science budget in the history of NASA that the President signed into law. Um, here's what I'll tell you from my perspective. We need to make sure that NASA is continuing to do this science, and we need to make sure that this science is void and free from partisan or political kind of rhetoric. And to do that, what we do and what we have been doing, and I know Thomas Zerbukin has been focused on, is following the guidance of the National Academy of Sciences. And, and of course, uh, we had a, a new decadal survey that came out in 2018. Um, it came out in January, if, if memory serves right. And we're, we're going to make sure, and I've, I've told Thomas, and of course Thomas is telling his folks, we're going to put together an architecture that follows the guidance of that decadal. And that decadal has a series of things that are critically important to understanding the Earth for 
you know, human society at large. And it, it, it starts with the idea that the water cycle and the energy cycle um, are coupled. And we need to make sure that we're understanding how that, how that um, affects the, the, the change in climate. Um, it, it talks about how ecosystems are changing. That's the number two thing. We're going we're gonna to focus on understanding how ecosystems are changing based on how we as humans are, are changing the climate. Uh, it talks, and this is important to me, the guy who represents Oklahoma, it talks specifically about um, extending weather forecasts and air quality forecasts and improving those weather and air quality forecasts, which is something I've been working on as a, as a member of the House of Representatives. Um, it talks about understanding climate in general. I think the way it frames it, we're going to uh, reduce climate uncertainty is how the National Academies framed it. And of course, uh, five was sea level rise, uh, and six was geological um, disasters and hazards. So we have guidance from an apolitical, nonpartisan National Academy of Science telling us what is important for humanity, and we're going to follow it. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and I intend to do that. Now, uh, I'll, I've got so much more to say, but I know there's more questions, uh, but, uh, but, but thank you for that.